Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than nine years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's feeling like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program at marlenesmusic.com. Subscribe, follow, and invite your friends to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. Now, on to today's tip. Today's tip is how to weatherproof your acoustic guitar. In some parts of the world, it's getting colder, and in other parts of the world, it's getting warmer, while in other parts of the world, the weather is constant. In my neck of the woods, it's getting a little cooler. This change, or any seasonal weather change, always serves as a reminder for me to share weather-related guitar care information. And that information is based on this fact. Wherever you and your guitar call home, weather and weather changes can affect your acoustic guitar. Naturally, temperature plays a role. But the most damaging weather condition is humidity, both too much and too little. In today's episode, I'll give you a few ideas to help you weatherproof your guitar for most any climate conditions. Idea number one, use a case, especially when transporting your guitar. A hard case is the best defense against the elements. A gig bag or soft case is easier for transporting but offers less protection from the elements and from any guitar damaging accidents. It's a good idea to keep a humidity system in your case to keep the humidity levels in check, which I'll talk about in just a moment. Hey everyone, if you like what you hear, please feel free to rate and review my podcast on iTunes or Apple Podcasts. It really helps the show. And if you leave a comment, send me a quick email to marlene at marlenesmusic.com letting me know you left a comment and I'll give you a shout out on my social media. Idea number two, buy a hygrometer. A hygrometer is a meter that gives you humidity level readings. I recommend having one in your case and one in the room where your guitar is stored. By the way, if you want to learn more about humidity levels for guitars, go to my July 16th, 2020 episode, How Temperature and Humidity Affect Your Guitar. Idea number three. Buy a freestanding humidifier, which is oftentimes also a dehumidifier. It's best to have a humidity system in your case, as I mentioned in the first idea, and one for your guitar room. In my case, I use a humidity pack, which is gel-packed filled fabric pockets that fit between the strings and lay near the headstock. For my guitar room, I use a standard room humidifier, which also has the capability to dehumidify. Either use a room humidifier with a threshold setting to maintain an even level, or gauge the room humidity needs based on your hygrometer readings. Remember, the ideal level is 45 to 55% relative humidity. Did you know if you join my podcast club, you could have a chance to win a $50 Guitar Center gift card? Just click the green Join the Club link in the show notes for all the details and to become a member today. That's the green Join the Club link in the show notes for a chance to win a $50 Guitar Center gift card. 
Hurry, subscriptions must be received by December 31st, 2021. Idea number four, clean and polish your guitar every six months. I talked about this and the how-tos of cleaning and polishing an acoustic guitar on May 13th, 2021 in the episode Spring Clean Your Guitar. So go to that episode if you'd like a quick refresher. FYI, this is also a really good time to change your strings since they'll be off the guitar for the cleaning and polishing. And lastly, here are a few don'ts to keep in mind. Don't store your guitar near a heating or air conditioning vent. Don't store your guitar in damp areas like a basement or a garage. And don't leave your guitar in your car or the trunk of your car. Your guitar's wood, strings, and the binding materials will appreciate your weatherproofing efforts, resulting in the continuation of beautiful sounds from your instrument. So remember, no matter where you are, weatherproof your guitar. Don't forget to join the club for a chance to win a $50 Guitar Center gift card. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.